so good evening hello dr akash i am ganesh uh, we are two architects who are sitting down to discuss a few things about our college days yes reflections uh, nostalgic reflections after about 20 years for both of us yes in different degrees uh, but why we are doing it particularly is to think back to what sort of guidance or experience we could have got during our college days uh, which maybe students today are not getting or struggling with uh, and and how we can sort of you know can that gap at all be filled can some support solutions be created for students um so if you just think back maybe to your college days say your first year second year where you came from and you know what was your thought space thank you ganesh i think this is a very very touching topic particularly it makes an even more interesting i won't say read but sound maybe because i come from jammu hmm. a state where there was no architecture college so it was the education department state yeah so i came to delhi but you just now mentioned that what support so i had fantastic fantastic support from and from my you know seniors yeah and that is what made me what i am today yeah and uh, and you asked for also asked me that what is happening today so i don't know because i i may be biased in saying that i received a better support and things students today are not receiving so that will be a not not a good response because humanity or people demand some things and that that is how innovation happens so whatever is happening today is probably what was needed by students or you know people in general yeah. so if we wanted wider roads we got wider roads if we wanted more cars we got more cars and if we wanted digital technology so the question which i would want to rephrase at this point <coughs> is are, are digital technologies enabling the same kind or even better interaction between the communities or between seniors and juniors and hand holding exercise that would be a good question i think if i think back i mean my background was slightly different to yours i mean i i been born and brought up in delhi so you know it's been more a big city sort of upbringing but i think uh, what we what i certainly do remember of those five years more than anything else uh, is the kind of community interaction we had within the college and when i say community interaction i mean amongst those you know few batches above and below yes. so your senior students your junior batches you know i i remember how we would always be asked by some seniors or the other to go late at night to their houses to help yes, them yes. and their sufficient for this is as for the common self, thing for instance it was a common practice yes where you would the people will book them in first year yeah. or fifth year so yeah. it was it was and what was also good is that at the same time they would often be open enough to guide you in what you were doing or most of my trees were read, made by one of my seniors, seniors. yes yeah. so i think that that sort of you know there was a lot that you were learning outside the formal classroom or outside the for, formal studio time so for instance resolving columns i still remember in third year i had this very weird site and therefore a very weird building and i wanted to do like these paired columns now understanding that structure and drawing that grid which we had to do in the second semester as working drawings was helped to me by my senior who i was helping with his thesis sheets you know so he took out half an hour from his thing and said okay let me draw it out for you and i'll help you resolve this in your mind <laughs> so yes and so you know so that kind of a symbiotic relationship relationship i will take it to a next level now okay you reminded me of my third year so professor sharad das was our studio director and remember he made made the uh, i indoor in indra gandhi indoor yes, stadium across yeah, yeah. so we will always see him as a role model and then he will always kind of give us challenging problems so our for the time problem of a pneumatic structure of exhibition okay. and uh, 
okay so what i was supposed to do was so i tried to create a geometric structure and i made a concept of a donut shape okay and the perfect thing that would represent was a condom okay so one of my senior was bold enough he bought two pairs packs of durex just in case i messed up the first one <laughs> <laughs> and making models yes for making models <laughs> because th there was some some phobia we were young so yeah. that was also there but he said yes. no no don't worry if you uh, need I that i will get it so he came from arani bag hostel okay all the way to third year studio on on, on on third floor and my model was done and then came the time for jewelry okay so i finished everything <laughs> <laughs> oh my god so uh, it was expression on the jewelry's face the architects you know the education or, or the creativity that we guys can bring to table yeah and even now the value that we can add to our client's project it is all started in architecture school and it is not an easy journey you know yeah. models have been thrown out of windows and sheets yeah. have been yeah. <laughs> so yes everything but it, it it was those seniors who will often take look at those models broken models broken sheets and feel sad take ownership So okay, let's do it better. Let's do it. so there was always a stick yeah. and a support. Yeah. No, that that sort of sense of camaraderie or togetherness was yes. very important for yes. all of us. Yes. Yes. And actually, I, you know, we've been doing visiting lecture work in in and around Delhi even afterwards. Um, so over the last seven to ten years, I've actually seen that. You know, to kind of qual qualify your earlier statement about whether it's fair to make that assessment, but I think one has actually seen that community spirit diminish more and more in architecture schools. Uh, first, it happened because the number of students per batch started to increase. So there was a there was a period of about five or six years when architecture became a very popular. course and therefore of lot of students started to lots of colleges also lots of colleges so the number of students and therefore also the number of faculty everybody seemed to be teaching in some college or the other so you know there was a great dilution it was that. it was i think in in that sense because it was more competitive so only passionate people would find their place in architecture school and yeah. only very dedicated and passionate teachers would be yeah. there to guide them and at the same time that also meant that people started to get more and more segregated yes from each other yes. and therefore this community spirit kind what sub group started in yeah yeah facebook uh, you share the model on facebook get few likes and that's about and it and that's about it yeah. and you know with also what happened is that some of the newer colleges you actually didn't have such a vibrant say an alumni this community, sense of community. Or seniors yes. community you had you know like there was one or two colleges that i've been to where there were only three or four students in the batch some two pass outs from the previous year some you know so in all there are about 15 or 16 students in the whole school yes because you know they didn't have adequate sort of intake or something so then that you know that situation was very different for the student because the student didn't have that community to fall back on Understand, which was not their fault. Yes, yes, it is not their it's, fault. It's just that that rich community wasn't there, uh, and and I think I was in a sense lucky enough to be at the TVB School of Habitat Studies, which anyways was so small and so insular that we actually, you know, like you were saying, that community almost extended to the faculty also. Yes, because they would have the same sort of sense of. you know that characteristic approach yes this association also from the rest of the community and you are in a cooking in a kind of, of things cooking. and making your own nets yeah <laughs> so so there was a lot of the, you know that that community spirit and and over the years i did find that reducing i mean you know even i tried to sort of think about it and feel whether it was just some nostalgia or something yes but i i i completely agree if i want to look at from the way you are saying when i would feel but what i am trying to stress upon here is that are those students missing those things maybe they are not so that is the problem if they still feel that yes they have not received that kind of thing so uh, what you so popular or, or popular or send me on instagram so maybe they're getting their inspiration help or tips from many other channels so that is my own, own only point 
according to me i don't want to be saying that old buildings used to be so good and now the buildings no, so that mean, is but but the thing is, is that sometimes you know the, the reason i'm sort of saying that only is that i think sometimes when we were doing it we didn't realize the importance of that that community spirit it's only now when we think back to that time we realize what those people or what that community contributed to us so it may also be that the students who are in colleges right now almost don't know what they are missing yes you know absolutely. it's only 5 years from now or 10 years from now that they may realize that you know and maybe they never will because they never may be exposed to it mm. <laughs> yes and uh, you know during my research i came across many books and one of this books and just slipping the name i think it is shahir it is called the death of drawing okay very interesting book i had it was an interesting read it, it was simply saying the death of the drawing okay so that is where it is bringing out and when i was you know working on this uh, archipel was not born that time so it was just a bubble in my mind okay so i was just trying to integrate that what would happen when the mediums are digital so our faculty like yourself when you were student our faculty was also non digital non digital yeah and there was an open letter while i was in you know in the, in the uk it was written to professional institute okay. so in that sense arb architecture registration board and riba royal institute of british architects so it was saying that when web 2 to web 3 transition was getting done and all other you know professions and disciplines were advancing what were you doing we are still in autocad 2d mode so why haven't we advanced to to that kind of level and that that really intrigued me then even in india when i started looking okay we have gone digital but do we have you know perpetual yeah. licenses in colleges for everyone to access yeah. Yeah. all those features of this platform so that is also a missing link and with archipel i just try to emphasize my five years of architecture college looked at the pain points that people might be facing and how we can inject a breather how we can you know make their life easier and extend a hand of helping helping hand basically so there are i mean since since you sort of mentioned the archipel platform also which which yes is sort of still evolving and and becoming uh, coming to fruition as a website uh there are some sort of you know there are some of these mentor opportunities which hope to build this kind of a support community absolutely absolutely so how do you see that uh, as a transformation or a sort of sort of a transformational tool in a sense in education see you could easily send a whatsapp video to your friends and you could instantly send and you would receive instant response yeah. the problem with architecture is that middle in the middle of night you know you have you are procrastinating about a concept and it's only after dinner around at around 10 pm that is when you actually put down a sheet or open a blank or to disk screen and then you actually start to think that what and it is that thinking that sparks so many doubts and questions and yeah. at that time is the right time to inject that helping hand and the, and uh, traditional models are not not working but digital mediums are there yeah. so with architecture or archi mentor i have developed you know with my team all these small small modules which are accessible um, tools which anybody can use even in the middle of night yeah and you know get past and that will ensure there is a proper submission next day <laughs> rather than a blank sheet and a thermocol model and potentially given that you know you could have you know uh, tutors located in different geographical zones yes it could be that while it's middle of the night for you there is still somebody at 6 o'clock who's willing to give you the advice absolutely but i'm i'm thinking of it more as a local one uh, of course international collaboration nobody can stop and can even happen but that would be more suitable for uh, you know thesis projects for example Uh, mm-hmm. dissertation projects where yeah. you are you are researching about a golf course yeah and you know that in scotland there are world famous golf courses and there are designers yeah. who are so there is a aspiration 
in the student so you are able to get expert help when expert you help it. when you need it on your subject on your niche area yeah and that is how it will be more internationally whereas with arch tutor i am just make creating ways of architecture is not an easy education i am just creating more ways of yeah. empowering students while they are studying so it could be a fifth year student in one of the architecture school yeah helping uh, a second year student in another architecture school just like our senior used to do, do. trees uh, and yeah. rendering yeah. and other things no and sometimes like yes. you you were saying you know just that little bit of encouragement at the right to time. say yeah it's okay doesn't matter try again try, try it like this try that happens this. after the jury that is <laughs> after the jury but right <laughs> now it is the crucial piece of help or you yeah. know submission help that yeah. you know that that is that is more of it that i don't know how to make a curved wall with a floating dome at a concept stage and yeah. i don't know how to use sketch up I, i know that i can push and pull but that is what is killing time and youtube videos won't help yeah because that is very generic content yeah they will tell you what to do and you will waste 15 yes 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 they but will take away your time but you will still be stuck because that is what uh, your mind is telling your hand to translate it to yeah and you have a skill gap and it is that skill you gap you have to do it yes. immediately yes. yes so again relationship mentorship with seniors is very very important that is where the bonding happens and most of the you know couples also grow from same institution and offices also and partners also so, yeah. so it is a, and and we are experiencing we are live examples because all my colleagues and peers are around me and they are supporting me in this whatever i'm trying to do <laughs> so okay. no it's 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 it certainly got a lot of potential from that point of view of generating sort of student yes so i i also realized that and and i i would like to mention this uh, uh, also while you're talking i have just tried to look for the problems that are plaguing architecture yeah outside architecture you know runner benham has and yeah. say return the black box you know what is going inside but you don't know what comes out yeah so referring to that i took a very very rational approach rather ethnographic approach and my supervisors were more of psychologists okay rather than architect they okay these are the problems so this archipel concept is not just one product and this is why it has taken so long because i'm coming with a theme that catch them when they are young so we really had hold them from the very first year so that they feel involved in the community and eventually become archipels or eventually become so architects or must go through the platform yes. you go th- it, it is not a yellow pages it is not a you know in directory yeah. Yeah. you won't find architects there but you will find it, it is a it is a, not a horizontal platform where you come share information take information go, away. go away it is a vertical platform where you build your profile you just share your archipel profile to your employer and it will have recorded all your digital diary your digital portfolio for all these years and wherever you had interacted with your tutors mentors and all these people so it could have everything already recorded for you so it will be a brilliant platform for students at whatever level they are for architects at whatever stage in their life they are whether they are practicing emerging finding work too busy So even if you are a housing expert and you don't have time, there is still a student in fourth year who can benefit from your from your mentorship. Experience. Yes. So please, I this this small uh, video or whatever you may want to call it, it is only with an intention to urge all segments of architecture that we received something from our seniors, and there is some onus on us to give it back to the community digitally, <laughs> and also get paid for it. <laughs> Anyway, all all success to the platform and. To no, you too. You uh, you yeah. you have also been working with me for so long, so I don't really want to take away the. It is it is not about me. It is not about you. It is about us. And, it is about and us. Yeah, hopefully we'll all build a stronger community out of it. Yes, definitely. Thank you. No problem, Kanish. Thank you very much for your time and you know taking time out to ask me any such. taking me oh god it will take a long time <laughs> so we'll discuss after this video so for thanks. now bye bye thanks bye